Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to create a DSLR style image from a simple image taken from your phone using GIMP. GIMP is a free tool, open source software, better than Photoshop. It is the best alternative of Photoshop today. So once you download and install GIMP, just open the image in GIMP and I'll guide you how you can convert that in a DSLR style blurry background styled image so let's get started first of all when you have imported that image what you do is to just click here this is the layers window if, it, uh, if the layer window is not present you can just click here and over the mouse on Dockable Dialogs and this is the layer window. You can also bring this window by pressing Ctrl plus L. So once the image has been imported, just click here and hover mouse here and this is create a duplicate. Just click on the button to create a duplicate of this image. Okay. So duplicate of the image has been created. Now what you need to do is to just click on one of the image and uh, click on filters from the top menu now hover the mouse on the blur now there is one option known as Gaussian blur just click here here and both horizontal and vertical you have to choose a blur radius of 40 you just type 40 here in horizontal and click in the vertical field it also automatically gets converted now hit okay. okay so the blurry background has been created now what you'll do is to first hide this layer now the next step is to select this using the free path tool okay free select tool this is here so before uh, starting uh, to select this image like this using free uh, select tool what you need to do is to zoom out a little bit and just decide from which point you will start selecting I will start selecting from here and the object so I have to cover the whole object so once I zoom it a little bit now just click free select tool and now click here now this is the most careful step you have to select Uh, once your image has been selected what you need to do is to click on select click off feather just leave it as default it will make the selection a little bit softer now what you need to do is to right click on the first layer and now choose the option add layer mask let's leave all the things as default now layer mask, mask has been chosen now unhide the blur icon by clicking on the eye icon this is unhidden now what we need to do is to click here paint brush tool okay is a little bigger you know okay. little bigger now what you need to do is to just click here and brush it along the image don't worry only the original image will be there now 
your uh, purpose is achieved now what you need to do is to click on select and then click on none so the selection tool has been gone now your image has been blurred but there are some little problems there like here and there when you look closely the purpose is not achieved to its perfection you know the blurry background at the edges are not so clear so what we need to do is just click on it here again and now makes its size very small okay and a change from black to white by clicking here and now just try to brush it okay. okay don't worry if you move it a, a little bit closer just press ctrl z okay just you you can mo make the size little more less also like uh, 10 okay and now you can go on by working on perfection okay like this now you know just where do you feel uh, where uh, wherever you feel that the edges are not correct just move this along that okay so now when you feel satisfied now one final thing which you, you have to do is that uh, whenever you uh, someone takes a picture from dslr the blurry background is such that the nearer by image nearby images a nearby uh, portion of the image is a bit clear and less blurred and the far away portions are more blurred but this photo is looking like you know fabricated a little fabricated so in order to achieve a real dslr like effect you what you need to do is just click here in the blend tool okay just change it to black okay by clicking it is now make the opacity at 60 percent okay around 60 percent now choose the gradient by clicking here okay uh, sorry okay just clicking here and fg to transparent okay now what you need to do is to just uh, click here and put it back at some place where you think that it's going too far away so I'll put the line from here to here just like this okay just leave it so this has become clear and it is getting bloodied according to the gradient similarly like this okay like this like this okay so i think a blurry background has been achieved you can uh, as i have taken very less time and uh, creating that so it may happen that edges are not show um, you know uh, crafted to perfection but you can take your own time by creating a blurred background effect and you can just make any photo look like dslr using the free software gem so thank you guys if you really like the video please like our video by hitting the like button and uh, please subscribe to my channel i'll come up with more important tips like that thanks